Hi, welcome to Maple Leaf Gardens. I'm Rob Sinclair. In this week's installment, Mr. Smith goes to Carolina and adds a little touch of brown to the blue and white. But first up, let's look back in the Leafs week that was. The week opened with a sense of closure. Pat Burns making his much ballyhooed return with Boston. And on New Year's Eve yet. Sundin with it again. In front of the net, shot scores! Mike Johnson was the scoring star, potting a pair in a 2-2 tie. But the tie proved to be a costly one for Toronto as Alan McCauley injured an ankle and could be out of the Leafs lineup four to six weeks. Toronto quickly recalled Jamie Baker from the IHL to replace him. Next up was Chicago, but leading three to one, the Leafs folded in the final minutes. They gave up two goals in short order, first to Alexei Zemnov and then to James Black as the Blackhawks rallied for a 3-3 tie. Determined to make amends, Toronto took it out on New Jersey, playing perhaps its best hockey so far this season. Boncher waiting there. The Leafs are on it. And King scores. Derek King pulled them to within one at two to one. But another unexpected lapse killed the comeback. Two goals in less than one minute, and the Devils' work was done. New Jersey won it five to two in what was Jeff Brown's debut as a Maple Leaf. The veteran defenseman traded to Toronto for a fourth round draft pick. He's good in the power play. Our, as we're being reminded all the time, our power play has been a little deficient. Um, moves the puck well, and he has, he has good size. He's coming off a year where he didn't play last year. He hasn't played a great deal this year. Uh, we're looking forward to the next 42 or 43 games with Jeff in our lineup. He's going to get a lot of ice time. He's going to be relied upon a great deal by our team, and uh, I know he's going to help our power play. A big portion of his 561 career points has come on the power play, particularly when he was with St. Louis. I remember him going back to the St. Louis days when we had a great playoff series here against the, the Blues in, in uh, 92 or 93, whenever it was. And, and uh, Jeff was maybe the best defenseman on both teams. Uh, he's very good offensive. Uh, offensively, he's got a great shot. He can jump in the play, and he's sound defensively. But now in his 13th season, Brown's numbers aren't what they used to be. No, we know that. We know, and we know he missed last year, and we watched him. We, you know, we, we know his production will be significantly less. But uh, we didn't get him to be a 75-point defenseman. We got him to help us in those areas that I mentioned. Also worth mentioning is the anticipated return of Todd Warner, who skated with the team for the first time since getting injured way back on November 15th. It's, it's nice to be out there, like I said, it's just uh, you know, to be a part of the team. And the biggest thing when you're not playing is you don't really feel like you're, uh, you're, you're, you're you know, amongst the group. And uh, you know, to get back in the ice practicing, that's... Uh, Makes you feel good. Well, it's the first time he skated with the team, so we're excited about having him back in the practice sessions. Uh, we're going to take him with him on the, on the road trip here, and we're going to practice him and uh, see how he comes along and see how the, the medical staff uh, adjusts to his, uh, his healing here. And, and this, you know, we'll basically go day by day now.